Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Atlanta Area Council Boy Scouts of America Silver Beaver Awards Presentation Ceremony. My name is Jenny Chapin. I'm the Atlanta Area Council Commissioner, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to tonight's ceremony on behalf of the Council Key Three. Tonight, along with recognizing our many accomplishments as a council in 2019, we will also recognize 12 amazing volunteers with the Silver Beaver Award, the council's highest honor. These individuals, like many of you on this evening's Zoom call, have given much of their lives to serving youth, both through scouting and in other community organizations, making them very worthy of our recognition. The invocation tonight will be provided by John Lyon. John is the chairman of our Council Religious Relationships Committee and a Jamboree chaplain. But first, our opening ceremony will be presented by scouts from several units in our Appalachian Trail District. Scout salute. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. Please join us in the scout, uh, scout sign. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country, to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. Please join us in the scout law. A scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Two. Can Please join me in a word of prayer. Creator, we thank you for the opportunity in challenging times to recognize outstanding scout leaders in the Atlanta Area Council. Their leadership and commitment are great blessings to our youth and leaders. In these uncertain times, inspire each one of us to be positive, adaptive, and creative to meet the needs of scouting in Atlanta. Guide us, guide, the, guide these recipients tonight in all aspects. Thank you for all of your blessings. We ask this in your name, amen. Thank you so much, Scouts, and thank you, John. Please join me, ladies and gentlemen, in welcoming Tracy Techow the Atlanta Area Council Scout Executive, head of one of the nation's largest councils, for his brief opening remarks. Thank you, Jenny. And it's such a joy to be with everyone tonight. Uh, the Silver Beaver cer Ceremony is always one of my favorite events during the year, because tonight we get to honor the best of the best. And it's truly a joy to know the story behind each person and their lifetime of giving and scouting and beyond. But tonight we celebrate those great people. I recall the first time my father came home from a, a scout meeting. My dad was a scout master. He's never a Silver Beaver recipient, but he was presenting something that you're probably familiar with called the District Award of Merit. And I don't know that my dad had ever been awarded anything before, but dad was about 45 years old at that time. And he came home and he put it on the mantle at the fireplace. My dad's 85. 40 years later, that award, that's how much that meant to him. And it, and it was ingrained in me at that time that scouting has really caring people and that people like to recognize really good leadership and service. And tonight is the biggest one of all, the Silver Beaver, Silver Beaver Ceremony. So I wanna thank not only the Silver Beavers, obviously, but I wanna thank your partners, your husbands, the wives, the, the spouses that support these wonderful scouting giving patterns that change so many lives. We're thankful for you as well. And if you think about it, what's really meaningful about the Silver Beaver Award is it's not something that's just decided in a, in a closed door by a couple of people. It's a process. Many people are nominated, names are reviewed, records are reviewed, and the volunteers, the Silver Beavers themselves from previous years, will evaluate and choose 
who do they wish to join in this wonderful circle of recognition. So I'll bring my comments to a close and I'll say thank you to the Silver Beavers that we're recognizing tonight. Thank you to all the Silver Beavers that are from previous years. Thank you for the spouses and that have made this all happen. Tonight's a wonderful night and congratulations. Tracy, thank you so much for those comments, but we especially thank you for your leadership in our council. Tonight, we will honor some of Scouting's finest volunteers, but before we begin the court of honor, I'd like to just point out a few highlights in our council from 2019. We served over 30,000 youth in 755 scouting units in 2019. Of those youth, 613 achieved the rank of Eagle Scout in 2019, and they gave more than 98,000 hours of service back to the communities through their Eagle Scout service projects. 6,932 of those youth attended Atlanta Area Council summer camps in 2019. 3,746 girls participated in our Cub Scout program. And 33 troops are serving 403 girls in our Scouts BSA program. Looks like 2020 is turning out to be another very exciting year with lots of opportunities. All of our volunteers play a really important role in these accomplishments. And the volunteers we recognize tonight played a critical role in our council's success. Now that was a lot of numbers I threw at you, but one thing I'd like to ask each of you to remember is that every single one of those numbers represents a scout and a scouting family whose lives are changed because of your volunteer commitment. As we move into the Silver Beaver ceremony, I'd like to congratulate those past recipients of the Silver Beaver Award who are on our call tonight. There are two other awards like the Silver Beaver that are presented for volunteer service. At the regional level, the Silver Antelope is awarded. At the national level, the Silver Buffalo Award is presented to volunteers who give of their time and their talent to make a difference in the lives of our youth. We'd like to congratulate all of our past recipients of both the Silver Antelope and the Silver Buffalo. Assisting me tonight in this Silver Beaver ceremony is Alan Kemp, Chairman of the Silver Beaver Selection Committee. Thanks, Jenny. Silver Beaver Award is presented by the National Council of Boy Scouts of America upon recommendation of the local council. Fellow Scouters nominate deserving individuals to be considered for this honor. The Silver Beaver is presented to those individuals who have consistently given generously and effectively to the service of young people. The National Court of Honor of the Boy Scouts of America, in recognition of exceptional and noteworthy service to youth, and in grateful acknowledgement of the good that will ensue, is honored to confer upon these 12 distinguished citizens the coveted Silver Beaver Award. These 12 recipients represent just over one-tenth of one percent of all of our council volunteers. It's a great honor indeed. This year we planned a, a slightly different format from previous years, even before COVID-19 struck. Let's call it my scouting story in our recipient's own words. Luckily, it fits today's virtual format perfectly. However, we do want this year's recipients to also be part of a live ceremony. Therefore, we will also celebrate this year's 2019 class, along with our 2020 recipients at next year's live event. I'm pleased and honored to now open this National Court of Honor. Let's begin with Garrett Bailey. I was working for an engineering firm downtown and IEEE sent out a plea for help for any engineers that would come mentor the Exploring Engineering Academy at Georgia Tech. And so my boss and I both said, yeah, I got some volunteer time, let's do it. So I went for two days and he went for another two days and I was so impressed 
by all the Eagle Scouts that I met and how articulate they were and, and how much presence they had. That when my son came home from school and said, Dad, I want to be a Tiger Cub, we signed him right up. But when I was a kid, um, a lot of the Cub Scouting was done by the moms and the Pinewood Derby was done by the dad. But So I, I sent my wife and she came back and said, I was one of the only women there. So I, I looked into it a little bit, but I didn't want to be a DIN leader. They kept asking me if I wanted to be a DIN leader, and I said no. And I decided I would help with the Blue and Gold Banquet. So I raised my hand to chair the Blue and Gold Banquet, and I met with a cup master to talk to him about it. And he said, how's your DIN doing? And I said, well, they've only met twice since August. Is that okay? He said, no, that's terrible. Can you help? So I said, yeah, I can help. So I got a uniform and I showed up in the meeting and basically the DIN leader goes, wow, you got a uniform, I've never gotten one, scouting's not working out for us, you've got the DIN, see ya. And you haven't even run into him ever again, not even at the grocery store. So I went to University of Scouting a couple of weeks later and there I found out about Wood Badge and I went to Wood Badge three weeks later. Came back, I was a pack trainer, then I was the Cub Master, and now I'm the training chair, uh, training specialist for the Cubs for the council. So that's kind of what I, that's my scouting story. I'm also the course director for Wood Badge 20 3 that's coming up. So I've been on Wood Badge staff, this is my sixth year. Pretty exciting. Okay, for his service to youth, the Atlanta Area Council proudly presents. Silver Beaver Award to Garrett Bailey. Olivia. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Congratulations, Garrett. Our next recipient is Hank Blake. My name's Hank Blake. I started my scouting career back in Houston, Texas at PAC and Troop 540 at St. Ambrose Church. I was in scouting until the summer that my dad got transferred to Western Canada, so I ended my scouting career at Life. Time goes by, I had three sons, and all of them and I joined PAC uh, 744 at Eastside Elementary in the Foothills District. They also, all three, played baseball, so I ended up coaching baseball as well. I coached, I was league commissioner, I was on the board of directors for five years and uh, as president for two years at Eastside Baseball Association. Two of the three went on to scouting at uh, Troop 713 on Holt Road. And at that time, I joined as a committee member and eventually became an assistant scoutmaster. One of the most memorable times that I had in their scouting was when I was able to lead a crew to sea base with two of my sons. I and the two of them will never forget that week cruising in the Keys. One of my sons went on to Eagle and he eagled out and so did I. So I was out of scouting for a couple of years until my nephew crossed over to scouting and his family asked me to join in scouting with him at his troop. So I joined him and we started at Troop 510 in the Silver Comet and eventually ended up at Troop 002 where Again, I served as an assistant scoutmaster. I uh, had great times camping, summer camp, rafting trips. My nephew eagled out and I stayed with the troop for another year. And at the end of that year, I was trying to decide what to do next. I got a phone call from John Lyon and he asked me to have coffee with him. And I've been the district commissioner of Silver Comet ever since then. I have enjoyed the opportunity that scouting has given me to participate in the leadership skills and character development, the service of scouting, and the emphasis on duty to God. I've had the opportunity 
to be a part of the Council Religious Relations Committee. I teach first aid CPR and wilderness first aid. I'm a part of the uh, Council KZ4 BSA Ham Radio Club and just enjoy the opportunity to share that with scouts and cubs getting to participate at Spooky Re at council camperies and district camperies and share radio and so many other things with the youth there. I've had through scouting the opportunity to staff at Woodruff um, summer camp and staff at the 2017 Jamboree. When not in scouting, I'm an elder at the church that I attend. I lead men's Bible studies and lead a yearly mission trip to the Dominican Republic where we work with local churches and through a grant with the Dow Corporation put in clean drinking water systems. Right now I'm looking forward to the end of this year when I retire and my job will no longer interfere with my life and the things that I get to do with scouting. For his service to youth, the Atlanta Area Council proudly presents the Silver Beaver Award to Hank Blake. Congratulations, Hank. Our next recipient is Dave Bone. My name is Dave Bone. I've been involved in scouting for about 10 years. I started with PAC 420 as a tiger parent. Since then, I've been a den leader, PAC treasurer, PAC popcorn colonel, day camp director, district committee member, district committee chair, Weeblow's Woods chair, archery and BB's range master, district training team member, and course director, Cub Scout blast off chair, Eagle Board of Review Chair, University of Scouting Dean, Wood Badge Participant, Wood Badge Staffer, Powderhorn Participant, National Camp School Participant, Unit Commissioner, Order of the Arrow Brother, Day Camp and Summer Camp Assessor, and Program Chair for Scout Challenge 2019. I have one son named David. He came home from first grade with a flyer saying he wanted to be a scout. I wasn't a scout as a youth, but it was something I had been curious about, so we signed David up as a Tiger Scout in PAC 420, and I really appreciated the strength of the scouting community and saw it as an amazing tool to help raise our son to be a good citizen and leader. I also appreciated the many opportunities to become involved and grow as an adult leader myself. David is currently a Life Scout at Troop 419 and plans to be an Eagle Scout. My most memorable experience as a Scout Leader has to be a tie between attending summer camp with my son's den and troop, serving on Wood Badge staff, and helping organize Scout Challenge 2019. It is inspirational to watch young Scouts at summer camp away from home for the first time as they grow in confidence and skills. Then, Staffing Wood Badge has given me the chance to watch and help adult leaders as they go through similar growth. Finally, working with all the volunteers at Scout Challenge 2019 who generously donated their time and energy to make an amazing experience for the Scouts in our Council reinforced my belief in the amazing power of the Scouting community. Outside of scouting, I'm a proud father and husband, a small business owner, and an avid player, an avid tennis player on multiple Alta and USTA teams. I've also served as Little League coach, youth soccer coach, and been part of my son's PTA board and an all-pro dad. For his service to youth, the Atlanta Area Council proudly presents the Silver Beaver Award to Dave Bone. Congratulations, Dave. Our next recipient is Mary Chesser. My name is Mary Chesser. My introduction to scouting is when I joined PAC 639 in 2008. In PAC 639, I was a Tiger Den leader, an assistant den leader for the Wolf, Bear, and Weeblos Dens, and committee member. After PAC 639, 
39 folded, a Weeblo Den joined Pack 994. When the Den crossed over to Boy Scouts, I stayed with the Pack as their Pack trainer and camp card chair, along with being a committee member. During the same time period, I became the Appalachian Trail District Popcorn Colonel and Camp Card Chair for the next three years. Hearing how fun camp school was, I wanted to attend, not realizing that it, by attending camp school meant I would become the next Cub Scout Day Camp Director for the next three years, which was a lot of fun. I'll now serve as the Appalachian Trail Program Vice Chair. I have attended Wood Badge 1978 and served on staff on 1988 and SR 09-92-19-02. I have attended the Philmont Training Center and I have gone to one National Jamboree and one World Jamboree. I got involved in scouting in 2008 when my neighbor needed help with a craft project for her den, and she knew I loved to craft. This ask has led to various scouting positions, both on the unit and district level. My love for scouting has recently led me to take a position at the council level as a field service administrative assistant for product sales, which I'm truly enjoying my new position. I believe in the mission, vision, and values for scouting. One of my most memorable events was attending the National Jamboree at, in 2013 at the summit in Bechtel, West Virginia, and ha meeting and having my photo taken with Jill Clay, the granddaughter of Baden Powell. My other memorable scouting event was visiting the Philmont Scott Ranch for the first time. I've learned what Philmont truly means to a scouter and what a great gift that Wade Phillips gave to scouting. And I look forward to going to the Philmont Scott Ranch as many times as I can. For her service to youth, the Atlanta Area Council proudly presents the Silver Beaver Award to Mary Chesser. Congratulations, Mary. Thank you. Our next recipient is Brett DeVore. My name is Brett DeVore, and when I was in the first grade, a guy in a cool uniform came to our school, and he talked about all these fun things to do and adventures in something called Cub Scouts. After he gave the talk, he started a fire with flint and steel in a hog pan. Of course, I went home and told my parents I wanted to be part of that. I was a Cub Scout in Pac-20 in Light Street, Pennsylvania, where I earned my Arrow of Light and crossed over into Troop 20. I earned my Eagle Scout in 1986. When my oldest son saw some Cub Scouts in a parade, he turned to me and said, I want to be part of that, and I've been volunteering ever since. I've served as a Pac Advancement Chair, Pac Training Chair, Pac Committee Chair, Assistant Cub Master and Cub Master. In Scouts BSA, I've served as a Troop Training Chair, Assistant Scoutmaster, and currently serve as a Committee Chair for Troop 1857, a unit that I am a founding member. At the district level, I have served Northern Ridge as the District Chair, Funds Development Chair, and Membership Chair, and Unit Commissioner. Currently, I am also the Service Area 2 Friends of Scouting Chair for the Council. My dad's an Eagle Scout and was my leader growing up, and he is still very actively involved in the skills and activities he showed me through scouting was something I hoped my sons would enjoy. Both of our boys are actively involved in the troop and getting to experience some of those same adventures I did as a boy. I continue to remain involved because of the value I see in scouting. I know what it did for me, and I see what it does for the youth in our unit. Seeing that outcome is what drives me to continue to be a better leader. I've been fortunate enough to be on a number of wood badge staffs and an even bigger privilege to serve as a course director. Taking wood badge, staffing on four courses, and leading one provided memorable experiences each and every time. I look forward to each of those courses as they were all the same, but they were all different. I've gained so many friends through each of those experiences. 
Outside of scouting, my wife and I started our own pediatric therapy clinic working with children with special needs. We also founded a nonprofit foundation that provides scholarships throughout the state of Georgia to families with children of special needs who can't afford therapies or therapeutic equipment. When I'm not doing scouting, I active playing soccer. For service to youth, the Atlanta Area Council proudly presents the Silver Beaver Award to Brett DeVore. And Brett, I'd ask you just to say hi or something so Zoom will actually zoom in and on you when you receive your award. Thank you very much, Alan. I appreciate it. Thank you all. Congratulations, Brett. Our next recipient is Jim Manowski. My name's Jim Manowski. I started off in scouting as a wolf scout, uh, made it through uh, Cub Scouts into Boy Scouts, went as far as first class, uh, then got drawn back in when my son came home one day from a build up at uh, a school recruiting and he wanted to be in there. So I started taking him to scouts as a wolf. The following year, he asked me to do more. So I became a leader and started doing the uh, Pinewood Derby for the packs. And a few years later, started doing the Pinewood Derby for the district. I have been a den leader, a crew leader, assistant cub master, pack committee member, assistant scout master, on the district nominating committee, the district, I am the presently the district camping chair for Yellow River, a program advisor, council rep for the World Jamboree, and two national jamborees before that. I am very active in the Order of the Arrow. I am an Associate Lodge Advisor. I am the Ordeal Advisor, as well as the Inductions Advisor. I am a Vigil Honor Recipient. I am the Chapter Advisor. I have received the District Award of Merit. Uh, the Lodge Key 3 Award recipient, the OA Founders Award recipient. Probably my favorite memory would be doing the Pinewood Derbies. Uh, seeing the boys face when they are able to take a vision that they have and work with them to come to a finished product and they watch the car race for the first time, uh, seeing their face is just how it lights up. To me, that's one of the best parts of scouting. Even though Jim could not be with us tonight for his service to youth, the Atlanta Area Council proudly presents the Silver Beaver Award to Jim Manowski. Congratulations, Jim. Our next recipient is Ken Neighbors. My name is Ken Neighbors. Uh, I have been involved with scouting in one way or, the, uh, or another uh, since I was about six years old. Uh, I moved around so much, however, that I wasn't able to really kind of have a full and robust scouting career. Um, but nonetheless, uh, I have, as an adult, always tried to, uh, sought to advance children in scouting and um, through 
my board memberships and my law firms. And so we did things like um, we ran a scout troop at Benteen Elementary. Uh, I was very involved when my sons were in scouting at Centennial Elementary School. And um, so most of what I do is behind the scenes in terms of scouting. And uh, it really is designed to, to make sure that the scouting program is available to all the various populations we serve. Um, I'm particularly, you know, an advocate of scout reach as an example. And, um, and so as a lawyer who really serves the scouting organization through my board service with the Atlanta Area Council, you know, you will rarely, you will rarely see my, my imprint on scouting. You're mostly just going to see um, service to scouting so that we can continue to do what we do. What I'd like to, you know, see from scouting and, and be a part of is particularly that we continue to advance and strengthen scouting for another 110 years. And uh, this year marked uh, scouting's 110th anniversary in the United States as I understand it, and, and what better legacy than, than to, to play a role in making sure that, that the programming we offer, that the services and skills we uh, train in youth are available for another 110 years. For his service to youth, the Atlanta Area Council proudly presents the Silver Beaver Award to Ken Neighbors. Congratulations, Ken. Let's go back to Dr. Dodd. Our next recipient is Lee Orr. My name is Lee Orr, and my scouting journey began with my son in 2004 as a Tiger Pack leader with a pack chartered out of Romar Academy in East Point, Georgia. We moved later that year, so we joined the Hoosier United Methodist Church PAC 141 in Atlanta, Georgia. There I served as a wolf, bear, and we weebelow leader. Once my son advanced to Hoosier Troop, I joined him as an assistant scoutmaster. During my tenure in the troop, I also served as the troop advancement chair, troop committee member, and on the district advancement committee, as well as an assistant crew advisor and committee member for the Metro Atlanta Kiwanis Venturing Troop 2421. I was inducted into the Order of the Arrow in 2010, sealing my membership as Brotherhood a year later. I became involved in scouting when my son wanted to join a Cub Scout pack after attending an interest group meeting. I was determined to be a hands-on and supportive parent, so I too joined the pack as the Tiger leader. One of my most memorable scouting events was traveling to and attending Philmont Scout Ranch in New Mexico. I traveled with eight other pack and troop members by van across country to experience some of the most beautiful and historical places in America. Once we got there, the training I received and the activities provided at the ranch were awesome. In addition to scouting, I am an active member of Douglas Carroll Paulding County's chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, a Greek letter organization of college educated women dedicated to public service with an emphasis on programs that target the African American community. For her service to youth, the Atlanta Area Council proudly presents the Silver Beaver Award to Lee Orr. Thank you.
Thanks. Congratulations, Lee. Our next recipient is Sarge Page. Scouting has been one of the greatest joys of my life. As a young kid, it was great to be able to have fun cub activities with my classmates away from school. I didn't understand at the time how much I was learning and growing. I was just having fun. I learned that there was a history of scouting in my family. My parents were leader for my older brother's troop, and he was an Eagle Scout. I wanted that too. As a Boy Scout, I met and had adventures with the best friends of my life. We camped, hiked, cycled, swam, and fished all over the Southeast. The 12 Scouts that I became Eagle Scouts with went on to become best men in each other's weddings, godparents to each other's children, and lifelong friends. My life wouldn't have been the same without scouting. As a parent, I couldn't wait for my sons to become scouting age. I took leadership positions with Troop 1996 in Stone Mountain, Georgia. And just like when I was a scout, we camped, hiked, cycled, swam, and fished all over the Southeast. I met the most amazing families and had a front row seat to watch our children grow up to be principled men, Eagle Scouts, graduates, and leaders. I am grateful to God for the opportunity to be a part of the lives of these families and these young men. And I have a tremendous debt of gratitude to my parents, my wife, my siblings, my children, and the countless number of volunteers who stood with me over the years. For his service to youth, the Atlanta Area Council proudly presents the Silver Beaver Award to Sarge Page. Thank you. Congratulations, Sarge. Our next recipient is Greg Post. My name is Greg Post, and I've been involved in scouting since 2006, when my son came home with a school night for scouting flyer and was very excited to become a Tiger Cub. I served as a den leader in Pack 350 in Ackworth, Georgia. When my older son crossed over to Troop 540, I served as an assistant scoutmaster and later as committee chair. I served on Wood Badge staff for five years and was a course director and advisor. I have been serving as a assistant youth protection champion for the past two years as well. I became involved in, involved in scouting initially to join with my son. However, I became fully invested when I saw the leadership skills being instilled in the young men of Troop 540. I was so impressed with the youth leadership that I wanted to take my participation to the next level. My most memorable experience was getting to lead our troop at summer camp in my son's final year. I asked him to lead, help lead the first year scouts that summer, and I saw how he had come full circle from being led his first year to now leading himself. Outside of scouting, I have also served as a president of the Band Boosters, the Altoona High School, and a certified facilitator of Darkness to Light, anti-child sexual abuse prevention. For his service to youth, the Atlanta Area Council proudly presents the Silver Beaver Award to Greg Post. Thank you. Congratulations, Greg. Our next recipient is Muzaffar Qureshi. Here we go. My name is Muzaffar Qureshi, and I'm honored and humbled to be part of the 2019 Class of Silver Beaver Award recipients of the Atlanta Area Council. I serve as your Council Chair for Advancement and Recognition. It all started about 20 years ago when a little boy by the name of Ethan Brown knocked on our door selling popcorn. He peeked inside and noticed my three boys and then asked if they would be interested in scouting. Well. Many years later, my boys Medesser, Mosin, and Noah became Eagle Scouts along with Ethan. I also have a daughter named Alina, and she's a great Girl Scout. My wife, Farah, and I are, have served in various roles continuously throughout those years. Outside of scouting, I work at FedEx and am involved with Humanity First, a disaster relief organization, and the ISB Leadership Institute supporting youth to become great leaders just like the BSA. We love scouting and cannot thank enough 
all those volunteers that make a difference in this world. For his service to youth, the Atlanta Area Council proudly presents the Silver Beaver Award to Mzefer Qureshi. Congratulations, Jeff. Our final recipient this evening is Rob Taylor. My name is Rob Taylor, and I was involved in scouting as a youth. My mother was the den leader while I was a bobcat, and later my father was the Weeblos den leader while I was a Weeblos. I crossed over into Boy Scouts and acquired the rank of first class. I had lots of memorable times and developed a love for camping. I became involved with scouting as an adult when my wife Karen, who was the committee chair of PAC 75, asked me to attend something called a Scouters Winter Camp Out in her place. I survived and made a few notes. The next year our oldest son Patrick was ready to cross over and that's when Karen said, it's your turn. I initially became an adult leader much the same way I imagine others do. When the call for volunteers went out, everyone standing next to me took a step back. However, I quickly learned that scouting is an immense amount of chaotic fun and I could not get enough of it and I was seeking all of the training I could get. It was not long before I was a scoutmaster of Troop 479. Being the scoutmaster was by far the most rewarding and demanding job I've ever had in my life, and I still miss it. In the course of 10 years, I rarely missed the monthly camp out, and it seemed like every one of them was better than the last. In addition, during this time, I developed something called patience, which certainly made the job a little easier. One of my most memorable scouting events was preparing and taking two crews to Philmont the same year, most of them staffed or participated in NYLT then taking several of the same boys to the Bob Marshall Wilderness in Montana the following year. For his service to youth, the Atlanta Area Council proudly presents the Silver Beaver Award to Rob Taylor. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Congratulations, Rob. Let's give these individuals a big round of applause. As I mentioned earlier, please plan to join us at our live event next year to celebrate both this year's recipients along with our 2020 class of Silver Beavers. I now declare this National Court of Honor, recognizing the 2019 Silver Beaver recipient class for the Atlanta Area Council closed. Alan, thank you so much for a great, great effort on your part for chairing a committee that selected these 12 amazing volunteers. You did a terrific job, they've done a terrific job. I couldn't help but reflect as each, I listened to each uh, recipient comment on their award and what was important to them about scouting. And one thing that resonated to me throughout each of the 12 recipients was relationships. Each one of them found that the relationships they had with their children, with their families, with the scouts and the youth and the adults they served made a difference in their lives. And I wanna congratulate each one of them for recognizing the significance that relationships have in our lives. Congratulations to all of the recipients. We're proud of you and we sincerely thank you for all that you've done to make our community and the scouting program better. You make the difference in the lives of our youth and the time and energy that you devote to ensure that the Atlanta Area Council continues to deliver the promise of scouting for youth and their families is a treasure that we do not take for granted. As leaders in scouting, you continue to give faith and hope to thousands of youth in our community, making it possible for them 
to begin their journey to change the world. Thank you all very much for joining us this evening. Good night and good scouting. <laughs>